What's going on, pattern watchers? What is happening, people? What's good, guys? What is good? Let's get it going. I've had a wonderful hay fever attack. Crazy. Oh, cannot stand it, man. Pollen is so strong right now. I've double dosed on antihistamines. So please anticipate many boomer moments. Because they're going to probably come through thick and thin. But other than that, guys, what's going on? What is going on? Yeah, I'm all good, man. I'm all good, but it's just, it's just hay fever. When it arrives, it comes and it gets me and it just does a number on me, man. It's crazy. All right, then, guys. Let's get some information over to you all, okay? What is going on here? Oh, what is happening to this right now? Okay, cool. Right then. I'm going to give you... It's not posted. It's not posted in the Discord. What is going on? Why is it not coming on in the Discord? It should come on in the Discord. That's a problem if it isn't. Should appear in the Discord unless you don't check the new content. It hasn't posted in the Discord. Fine. So, let's get that changed. Why is it not posting in the Discord? That's bizarre. Okay then. So, let me get that sorted out. Um, where are we at? Main trading. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Sack Trades has just posted it. Fair game. Thank you, bro. Let me just post it in announcements, new content. Don't know why it's not come up. But forgive me if I'm spamming up your Discord. But there we go. Just in case people don't get it. It's in the announcements, new content. At least you guys are getting it. Happy days. All right, and guys, let's have a conversation. <laughs> oh man, I love these hashtags. <laughs> All right then. Let's get with it. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It has been somewhat of an interesting day. Okay? So... I hope everyone is doing all good. So let's have a conversation. Let me flip the screen over to you. I cannot stand this hay fever, man. Jesus, man. Crazy stuff. Okay, then. So let's start. Okay. <laughs> Live just gone. Okay, fair game. All right, then. Sister. Yeah, system hack. What's good, man? What's going on? What is happening? Members of the channel, what's good, guys? Yes. So, I think there's enough of you right in here. So, there are scammers. Okay? Now, the way I would like to express myself and my opinion of these scammers, I can't really do that right now. However, please be mindful. I'm going to say it again. And I will say this at the start of every single stream. I will never contact you, okay? I will never initiate any conversation with you in the first instance, all right? There are scammers in the Discord that are pretending to be myself, the moderators, Infinex, Bitcoin Spartan. They are pretending to be ourselves and they're approaching people, asking them to deposit money in wallets. 
do not do anything if someone asks you for any money. If it's the fake account of myself, don't do it. Even if it's someone else with a different name, do not do it. Please be mindful. All right? There is no such thing as someone saying to you, no, deposit one Bitcoin and we're going to send you back three. What business is that? What business is that? It's no different to what they do to people in the post. They send people a letter and say, you got £70,000 worth that's ready to be claimed. All you need to do is just pay five grand for the processing fee. Forget that, man. Don't do it. Whale wallet. <laughs> Pattern traders wallet. That's the one. <laughs> and also, guys, the, um, the scammers on the comments in YouTube. They are going to so many extremes, man. <coughs> Excuse me. They're going into so many extremes. They're typing dashed letters pinned by traders reality even the crypto projections channel which i must say if you had subscribed if you are subscribed to that channel you would have caught today's move every single level has been hit today by bitcoin all right and we made those calls on the projection channel and today in the stage chat what a wonderful experience today it was very good trading for a lot of people all right and my advice to you all is this for you to understand the development of the pattern that you are seeing in front of you, please go back to the stream on the start of the 21st of January. Sorry, 21st of June this month. All right. When you're done with that, go through all of the videos. The video is only about an hour and about 10 minutes long. One hour, 10 minutes. That's as long as they are on the streams because I want to keep them short and sweet for people to be able to go back and watch them. All right, I normally used to do two, three, four hour streams, but that's just too long for someone to sit and take information. So I do these smaller streams, give you the every, all the information that you need, and then I let you continue about your day. All right. So 21st of June, go and watch the streams from that point. Then go and watch the videos on the projections channel, which I've pinned to the chat. Go and watch the videos from the 21st of June. So it's on the Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Those are the days that you need to watch from last week coming to the current date. All right. I hope people made some cheese today. Did anyone make cheese? Did anyone make any cake? Please type one if you did. Based off the information that we provide on this channel. Because I really want to get this working, guys. Perfect, 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 perfect. Well done. Well done. Don't worry. Re react. React OR. Reactor. No problem. Studying. That's fine. That is fine. Made $5 with the Lambo. You can get... I like the idea. <laughs> Whole cheese block, bro. <laughs> We've got dairy farm going up in this stream, man. Dairy farm. Nah, it's all good. If you had to work, there's no problem. We're waiting for a retrace. Continuation to the high. Perfect. The ZDC. Happy days if, you, if you're killing it in Forex. Wonderful. I am going to do some work on the Forex channel. Please don't worry. I'm going to hook you guys up on that. Okay. All right, then. Let's have a conversation. <laughs> I'm a vegan, so no cheese for me. <laughs> okay let's have a conversation okay so again repetition is the impression that's the basis of it all eric thomas said that all right that's why you see eric thomas continuously talking about the same thing over and over and over again because our minds are impressionable yeah we hear something continuously over over and over again see i think actors are probably the smartest people on earth they continuously have to exercise their memory. They have to remember the script. And those scripts are not easy to remember. Okay? We are doing exactly the same thing. You are following a script. All right? What is the development of a pattern? Yeah? Vector candles to the downside on the first leg. Retrace back into the middle. Come into a moving average to trap the retail traders. Take out the stops from the guys who went short. 
Induce the retail trader to commit to going short again like the fear they've missed out on the move to the downside. Then what happens? Market maker then creates the illusion that price is going to crash. Vector candle one, vector candle two, vector candle three and four. Usually you want to see three vector candles. Anything more? Happy days. It means that they are purposely trying to push price down to a point in the chart so that they can initiate the stops. Sorry, they can initiate the shorts and get people committed to the downside. Only last week, everyone was bearish on Bitcoin. Everyone was talking about 20k Bitcoin, building up their short positions, doing this, doing that. I don't see no bearish activity by the market makers. However, in this move to the upside, I do. Okay, because remember, market makers, they raise price and they build their shorts at the highest possible point. However, when will they finish? They've got to get their money back from this point here. This drop in the chart. Look. Vector 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. These are all orders that the market maker has effectively placed. He's gone long at these areas and he's now bringing it back up. Look at the projections, how they play out. Liquidity taken, liquidity taken, liquidity taken back, liquidity taken back. Funnily enough, what does price do when it hits a projection point? It pulls back. Look at where we are. Okay, rise. We've hit the zone, retrace. So today, man, we were waiting for the M5 point to get taken. And we were talking about it earlier this morning from this point here. All right, had to address the scammers issue, which led me on to um, start my channel a little bit late and get the projections, but the projections played out perfectly. M4 hit, M5 hit, now it's retrace. Range daily high. I believe the range daily high did get hit and it pulled straight back away from it. The Patreons earlier on, they received this notification that this pattern would play out rise retrace and the pattern played out perfectly it played out wonderfully i'm going to actually see if i can pull that up actually where was that image um let me see just so that you guys can see it with your plain eyes we're not talking bs right now okay where are you i'm just going to pull that image up all right okay then Ooh, what a day. What a day. It has been an exhilarating day. They Bitcoin has behaved perfectly for us today, guys. But the thing is, that's the thing you need to understand. When they are in a cycle and when they need to shift out of the zone, even if bad news was to come out, they would completely stick to the plan. All right? Because then they would dismiss it and be like, oh, it's not really going to affect Bitcoin. And they will continuously complete. They will always finish the actual cycle it's so important and what is really good is i'm seeing guys actually doing the same projection as myself which is what is really important okay two seconds i'm trying to pull up right now the actual chart i'm not seeing it where is she here we go right okay so i'm going to get this shared over to you guys so you can see it for yourselves ah god what a day i'm still like on the come down from it that's probably why i got my hay fever <laughs> scammer in the chat where's the scammer in the chat please get rid of that scammer in the chat man i'm sick of the scammers in the chat man unbelievable unbelievable okay then so here we go this was the projection from earlier on okay so let me get that up for you managed to find it wonderful so here we are you should see it now okay so we drew this earlier on all right this was the pattern we understood that price was going to come up hit the range daily high and come back and she didn't complete that fully i believe no, she actually did. She did take somewhat close to the range daily high. It actually finished at 36.618. And the range daily high just sat below. It was at 36.857. So 36.437. I can take that. I'll take that. I'm happy with that. That was a good little move. Happy days. I'll take that any day. It has been a brilliant day. So let's have a conversation to understand why this move actually happened. Forget the fact that they were releasing information about Bitcoin that was favorable. What you need to understand is the importance of the candlesticks that were showing that because if you're continuously focused on trading, you ain't going to care about the news. Okay. 
if you understand that we are coming out of a zone on the W formation, all right? We're coming out of the zone. It doesn't matter what news is released. It's only going to fuel that move. If there was no news, they would still move higher. It may not have moved aggressively, but they will still move higher. All right? So this is what we need to understand. All right? Cool. Here we go. So, Bitcoin. Last night, after the New York session coming into the Asian session, that day yesterday, out of the New York session, the UK and the New York session, they were building positions. All right? Remember, market maker knows he's going to move price higher. All right? So he has to build his positions. So what is he doing? He comes back down and hits the vector candle. Take some of the liquidity from that move. We're always waiting for a retrace back to the 50 EMA. We didn't get it, but we got something better. We received the touch of the 200 EMA. Funnily enough, the 50 EMA had crossed over the 200 EMA. All right. And we got the touch of the 200 and then price pulled back. For some reason, people were going short on Bitcoin. Why? All week, we've been talking about this W formation playing out. Because of the sheer size of the W formation, why on earth are people talking about Bitcoin going short? Why? Trade what you see. Don't trade what you think's going to happen. Trade what you see. React to it. When you see price holding above a certain zone, all right, who cares what people are saying across YouTube? Make the commitment to yourself. Be accountable for your decisions. If you've got a strategy, stick to it. All right? Don't let someone with some fancy thumbnail induce you into believing something that really isn't what's happening. All right? You need to focus on the candlesticks. Try and do that. Because it will help your trading drastically if you're able to disconnect from the chaos. Because you're already operating in chaos. That's the worst thing about it. Chaos is real in this game. All right? Chaos is madness, but there is order. They pin the 200 EMA, bring price back up. New York reversal triggers it back down to test again. Rejection, pin one, pin two, pin three. Three, three pins to the low, losing my words. Three pins to the low. That was the test. All right? Three pins confirmed it to me that we were going to be going higher. All right? The Asian session spiked the high, retrace, and then coming out of the Asian session, the Brinks box pretty much established the trap. Check this out. Brinks box in today's UK session. They got the moon boy committed at this point. All right. They made him see entries. He entered long. Unfortunately, he got stopped out. Why? Because this was the Brinks box. Stop hunt rise drop completely took all of the orders for the guys who went long and hit all their stops straight after all right then the market maker decides to step in he starts raising price comes back down tests of the 50 up it goes up it goes push 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 all right now why did we know that price was going to come up towards the m4 pivot on the one hour time frame and more importantly the m5 pivot well look left what do you see you have previous pools of liquidity. Go on to the 15 minute time frame and take a look at this. So firstly, we had this area right here. Pool of liquidity. All right. Come across. Liquidity. Follow the strips. Follow the strips. Follow, follow and follow. And what do you get? Recovery. Funnily enough, there's a vector candle in and around that zone. And there's a vector candle right there projection complete liquidity taken now we are at reset we are waiting to see if we're going to get the continuation to the upside granted on the 15 minute time frame these are the cycles all right if you base it off this peak formation w formation down here rise level one drop rise level two consolidation rise level three peak formation we are now expecting a retrace that retrace will bring us back down to the 200 ema on the 15 minute time frame which sits at the 50 ema on the one hour time frame where is the one hour level one the one hour level one is here okay however is this level one because this pattern right here has broken out of the midpoint of the W. 
and it hasn't consolidated back. Remember, level one is when price comes and shifts out of the zone of the W formation, okay, and then pulls back. Ironically enough, we are approaching towards the 800 EMA on the one hour time frame. Bitcoin needs to break this point before we can start pulling out the cigars and start anticipating Bitcoin hitting these liquidity pools up here. So the next liquidity pool is 38,720, 39,958. That 40K mark, okay, is very important. The 40K mark is no different to Ethereum when it was 1,800. The last time it went and broke through that point, she went on to gain nearly up to $5,000 per coin. Where will this move break Bitcoin? All right. Where will it make Bitcoin go? That's the crucial thing. Get the mini market maker and ice cream. Thank you very much, Greg. God bless you, my friend. That's a bloody expensive ice cream. <laughs> now, nah, thank you very much, man. God bless you, Greg. Thank you so much. All right, then. So... <clears throat> I don't know, Samia, I don't know if you can actually see on TradingView pips. That would be something for Infinex. I don't know. Yes, the chains link. Thursday is a monthly close. Very important. Thank you, Brian. Thank you very much, my friend. Thursday is very important, guys, because we will be finalizing the monthly chart. Look at this. Ooh, vector candles. Could we see Bitcoin come down there? Are they going to come down yet? This candle doesn't look like it's going to try and do that, is it? It's actually come back up. Now, what would tell me that Bitcoin is going to move higher is this. Okay. If this candle here and these candles here are to be recovered. All right. It may not be recovered in this month. Because they spiked the 13 EMA on the monthly time frame and pulled straight back up. All right. This looks like railroad tracks. Now, for the next month or a few months or so, we could actually see Bitcoin forming candles like this. We could actually just get this behavior, all right? And then we could get a spike up and then we could get a spike down. That's what potentially could happen, okay? Because if you look at the pattern itself, whenever it comes up towards a high, it comes back, makes one last attempt, and then drops. Could the monthly time frame be developing into an M formation? Could that be the case? Yeah? What could that be a possibility? But guys, we're talking like months now, man. We're talking months. But one thing you do need to put into perspective as well, guys, is this. Okay? It took Bitcoin three weeks to go from 17,000 all the way up to... 30,000 nearly double it took bitcoin from 32,000 all the way up to 58,000 in three weeks yeah the same token it took bitcoin from 58,000 all the way down to 28,000 in three weeks it only takes a month guys all right do you see why you shouldn't really pay attention to people's bias about what bitcoin is doing or what cryptocurrency is doing as a whole your information is here on the lower time frames when i say lower i'm talking on the one hour and the 15 minute in respect to the hybrid system all right i've pulled up the monthly time frame just to help see help you guys see perspective because i'm not going to sugarcoat anything i'm going to tell you straight there are vector candles on there there is a possibility bitcoin could come back down to 14k but i'm not saying it won't happen i'm saying it's a case of when all right at some point they will realize this zone okay it may not happen yet it might happen in two three years time who knows yeah the same way a vector candle down here didn't get recovered from the 8th of June. It didn't get recovered until the 22nd of June. And that's on the one hour time frame. So the sheer principle that they're pulling away from this point tells me that they do want to send price higher. Could we come back up to 64? 
or 65. If we come up to 65 and continue from there, and at the end of the day, guys, you need to understand something. If there is intention to send the price higher and they want to push it higher, they will push it. End of. And you have to accept that. You have to look at the psychology of what's going on in cryptocurrency. So many people are using it. So many people are adopting it. Banks are coming into play with it. Um, countries are making it legal tender. Big players are saying, look, man, Bitcoin is the way forward. Do you understand? There is no reason why it needs to drop. Okay. Yes, it's not a fixed pattern. It's dynamic. It evolves the same way your trading needs to evolve, which is why I say to you, do not get so messed up on trying to work out if this is a W or not. All right. Don't be too particular about it. Granted, if you're learning how to apply the strategy, go watch the previous streams. All right. Because in those streams, you will see variations of the pattern. That's the whole point of this. Not every W is the same. Not every M pattern is the same. Not every W is going to have shift volume coming out of the zone. Some of them have slow candles. Some of them take a little while. Some of the Ws are a little bit wider. Look at XRP. Look, today on the projections channel, I said that it was going to go up and hit this projection point, 70 cents, and she did even better. She went up and hit 72 cents. Happy days. Please go and watch the projections channel video from today. I've pinned it to the chat. I'm not. I'm doing that channel for people who haven't got the time to sit and watch these streams because of the time zone difference around the world. Those projection videos are designed to just give you the information within 10 minutes based on real-time market action. All right? Look at how wide the W is on XRP. Very wide, isn't it? Look at how price came all the way down here come up and it's very well closed at this point whereas when you flip onto bitcoin you can see it's near enough come down to the lows all right so there will always be a variation of the pattern and that's what you need to accept if you can't accept that okay you want to have more confirmation which is no problem in adding caution to caution but the same token try to make it easier on yourself make life easier by just having a criteria and that criteria is, I need to make sure I can see a pattern. If I can't see a pattern, then there probably isn't a pattern. What cycle am I in? Am I in rise level one, rise level two? Am I getting ready to form another peak formation? Right now, we're in the W formation. It's broken out. All right. So we are now waiting for level one retrace. Granted, if this move carries weight, then it may not retrace. But looking at the way price is behaving right now, we are effectively now coming down to test the 13 EMA. All right. I haven't seen any vector candles appearing at the highs. Let me just remove this liquidity pool right here and change the area so you can see it clearly. All right. But look at this. No vector candles at the highs. Pin to the high. Pin, pin, pin. Tapping liquidity pools to the upside. All right. Getting traders committed to go long at the fear of missing out that Bitcoin is going <laughs> to... That Bitcoin is going to go to the moon. I struggle to say that. All right. But what you need to, ideally what you need to try and do, okay, is once you've experienced a cycle, cyclical move. So today in the Patreon, all right, we said that Bitcoin's ADR for the day, at the time that we did it, it had moved 11,000 pips from the open. All right. So that was from here. All the way up to, yeah, it was at the M4 break. That's where it was at. Bitcoin moves on average from today's session was 28,892 from, so from the absolute low, sorry, from the open itself, all the way to the high, that was bang on 20,073 pips. So we were off by 8,000 pips. All right, that's fine. It traded within its ADR and it's traded at least more than two thirds of its ADR. That is a cycle to the upside. All right, now Bitcoin is starting to pull back. It's coming down towards the M, the 13 EMA, getting ready to test that zone. All right, there are no vector candles on the chart on the one hour time frame. Drop into the 15 minute time frame. Excuse me, guys. God, hay fever's working. 
That's really getting me. The vector candles are appearing on the 15 minute time frame. All right. So now look, vector one, two, three. Now, price can come back down towards the 200 EMA on the 15 minute time frame, which is the 50 EMA on the one hour, which is why I bang on about it. Right. The 50 EMA will recover all those vector candles and we will then know if this move is the move that will send price back up to form level one. All right. And work towards level two. So we will readjust our drawing. So we got the rise up. We are now looking for a retrace back to the 50 and then continuation to the upside. Now. We also have to consider that they could actually just drop price completely, but there's been too much strength in the move. We are still coming out of a W formation. I'm expecting a retrace. This cyclical move to the upside has been fully, fully achieved, and we are now waiting for the retrace. Happy days. That's what I'm waiting for with Bitcoin. So that's your projection for this evening. Please be mindful. They could tap the 13 EMA right now and bounce completely away from it and continue up. And we could actually experience what we experienced with Ethereum when she didn't even touch the 50 EMA for a long time. Okay. So that's where we stand with Bitcoin. Ethereum is going to be showing you pretty much the same behavior. Except we've got vector candles on the breakdown of it. All right. She's now broken below the 50 EMA on the 15 minute time frame. But that's only the... Um, that's only the... 15 minute time frame which is the 13 ema on the hourly what we need to be mindful of is if the 13 ema crosses over the 50 ema then there's a problem all right you don't want it to drop too much you want it to come down to the 50 ema and bounce away from that point all right ethereum is also coming out of the zone look at that beautiful development of a pattern all this liquidity right here here we go liquidity pool over there price projection point will be 2515 2515 um, and then we've got another liquidity pool right here that will take us to the ADR high of 2400 we've taken out this liquidity pool right here which we were talking about on the previous streams there it is happy days complete it's nearly taken out this point right here but it's actually pulled back all right so we're just waiting now now if you watch Sunday night stream guys all right, I made reference to the psychological high and low for the week. <laughs> Excuse me. This is what I think is going to happen. I think by the end of the week, all right, if they come and hit the 800 EMA, they will try and bring price back down. Ideally, I want them to stay away from the psychological high and low for the week because it's quite small on Ethereum and it's broken away from it. If you go back on Sunday night stream, I explained to you that you see complete push breaks away from the psychological high and low. All right. Look at that vector candle right there. Breaking away from the psychological high. That is critical. That tells you intention. That tells you the market maker has absorbed his liquidity in this area. And now he's forming the second leg of the W formation, shifting out of the zone. You can see Ethereum is forming interests of divergence at the high. The RSI on Ethereum. Look. Outside the volatility band here, outside the volatility band here, as it was rising, divergence was very clear on the RSI. So now we're going to wait and see how long they're going to keep pushing price back down before they decide to continue back up. All right. Wow. OK, guys, I'm getting really bad with this hay fever game. All right. So I hope I've given you all the information that you need. Okay, so sorry I'm sniffling, man. It's so bad. But um, tomorrow, Patreons, stage begins. All right, we've had a fantastic day. It's been great for everybody today. Anyone on the Projections channel, you would have done well. Patreons, you would have had a brilliant day today. It's been interesting. And again, I will reiterate, please, there is scammers in the Discord pretending to be myself. They are using the same name, the same username. I will never communicate with anyone purely because of this problem with the scammers. I'd love to say hello to everyone and welcome everyone. That's why I've got an announcements channel. Okay. But people are trying to be the Traders Reality logo and they're trying to steal money off people. Just be mindful of it, guys. 
please watch today's video because I go into detail on what this scammer is trying to do. Okay, and I show an example. One of our guys was savvy enough to get it over to us and let us know what's been happening. We thought that it was, you know, he actually experienced and he ended up giving money, but he didn't. If anything, he was playing along with their BS. So I hope it's, um, I hope you guys watch that and go to the market. Bragg's apple cider vinegar. Oh, well, apple cider vinegar with the mother. Yeah, with the mother. That's what I'm going to get. I've got apple cider vinegar that contains the mother anyway. So I'm going to take a little swag of that. And then I'll be up early. Hopefully this morning, next tomorrow morning will be okay for us. We won't have no madness. All right. So, guys, listen. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get myself off, man. I need to. It's been a, an interesting day. But um, if you are new here, guys, feel free to subscribe. All right. And make sure you join the projections channel so you don't miss out on the pre-market projections for each day. That channel today had a lot of success with XRP and Bitcoin. And we're just doing this for days, guys. All right. We've got these patterns down for days. Look at that. Complete drop now on, on the chart on Bitcoin. Recovery of some vector candles down here. But we've tested the 50 EMA on the 15-minute time frame. So... By that token, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go because it's irritating listening to myself sniffle, right? But I'll be back on again tomorrow night, all right? Patrons, tomorrow morning, we're going to do the pre-market morning meeting, and then we're going to roll straight into the session, and then we'll see what they've got for us, okay? So mad love and respect, man. Mad love and respect. Thank you very much. And guys, please go into the Discord and cast your vote on which song should win the pair of trainers. I need you to go into the Discord and um, into the channel that says contest. All right. And go and cast your vote. Go listen to the raps that the guys in the community have been creating. <laughs> Some awesome raps in there. Go and cast your votes so that I can then get these trainers out. Pick a winner and get these trainers out, man. Yeah. Okay. So, mad love and respect to all of you guys. Take care yourselves, and I will be speaking to you all tomorrow. All right? Mad love. Take care, guys. Peace.